everyone, this is Charmaine and I'm the dietitian that helps people reverse type 2 diabetes with plant-based eating and today I am interviewing Kirk who has been able to get his A1C out of the diabetic range and be able to experience a lot of benefits from a plant-based lifestyle on this reversing diabetes journey and so I'm really excited for you to meet him. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you at the end of the video. Hi everyone, so today I wanted to interview Kirk, my amazing client who has gotten great results from the Reversing Diabetes program. And Kirk, you can say hi to everyone. Hey everybody, glad to be here, Charmaine. Awesome. Do you wanna introduce yourself a little bit, how you um, got in contact with me, how you reached yeah. out to me? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I, saw one of your social media posts. I, I can't remember which, which which platform it was on, but uh, maybe Facebook. Um, and I just thought, man, that's, I want to know more about that. And uh, so I reached out and I'd never heard of you before, um, but you seemed genuine, authentic. And I decided to reach out to you to, uh, to learn more. Amazing. Amazing. So what made you want to, you know, do a program to reverse your diabetes? What's your motivation? What's your biggest why to do so? Yeah. So I, um, two years ago, we had our first grandchild, a uh, grandson, and his name is Noah. And I knew that my kids, my son and his wife would keep going. So, and indeed we have a second grandchild due this month. Uh, he's due, yeah. uh, his name is going to be Ezra and he's due this month on August the 25th. Um, I'm hoping for August 21st because that's my birthday. <laughs> so that'd be pretty cool. But that's, that's more than anything else. That's my big why. I want to be around um, as they grow up. I want to be healthy. I want to be active with them and I want to be able to do things with them. Um, you know, like any grandfather would do. I, I would also add that, you know, my grandfather passed away when he was 66. And my dad passed away when he was 72. My grandfather died of a massive heart attack. And my dad passed away of multiple myeloma blood cancer. And then to make matters worse, on my mother's side of the family, they're, they're all adult onset diabetics. So I, I have plenty uh, of reason to go plant-based, um, even more than just reversing, uh, you know, diabetes. Uh, but uh, um, I just thought it was probably a good way to go. And, and indeed, it has been. Oh, that's great. So how has it been? I remember our first call, you were telling me that, you know, you've your meat eater all your life, uh, but yep, yep. you still jumped on it. So how has the journey for you been in transitioning to a plant-based lifestyle? How has that been? So I was born and raised out in West Texas and growing up, I could smell the feedlots when the wind changed directions. And uh, it wasn't a bad smell to me. I mean, it would probably be a bad smell to almost anyone else, but I was from that area. So mm -hmm. it didn't bother me too bad, but it did remind me of, you know, the incredible industry that is out there. And um, um, so I grew up eating, you know, lots of meat. Um, and I'm not saying I will never have a, a New York strip steak again, but, but um, I know that I cannot continue to make those same choices for the long haul if I want to, if I want to be healthy. So uh, it was, it was a change for sure. I guess the desire uh, to be healthy um, was greater than the desire to continue to do things the way I'd always done them. Amazing. Yeah. And I always say to, you know, if you don't have your why, the how is impossible. And I think you have a big yeah. why with Noah and now Ezra. Um, that's right. Super excited for them. But yeah, I think that's amazing. You hit a really good point. Um, and you're a person that often travels, right? You often have clients, you often eat at restaurants, which is you know, puts you in a really unique position because a lot of times yeah. people think about eating healthy, right? 
they have to hunker down. And I think last year was the pandemic. So everyone feels like, oh, it's easy to do. Uh, but now, right, things are opening back up. And if you don't mind yeah. sharing a little bit of how you, most of your meals, you know, not most, but sometimes you do eat out a lot. Um, and yeah. how did you work that out? How did you still kept it plant-based and, and on yeah. track? If you can share yeah. that. So as you know, even during this pandemic and when you and I were working together, um, I would ask you on a number of occasions, what can I eat at this restaurant? Because I would still order out. I would still order restaurant food. And I'm really glad I did. Not only am I lazy, but I, I also know that, um, you know, I'm going to be traveling again. Things are opening up and I have begun to travel and I know now how to eat at restaurants. But I will say that the best way to do this is to prepare your own meals. There's no, there's no doubt about it. So to the extent that you can do that, you should. Um, I, it's easy for me to prepare breakfast and, and a lunch. Um, uh, but doing all three meals for myself every day was a challenge for me. Um, so um, eating out um, and knowing what to ask when you do eat out was a big plus and you helped me uh, through that very well. Very amazing. Well. amazing. Um, and what would you say, and it's cool too, you sometimes do share your meals at restaurants. I'm like, what? They have that at Mexican restaurants, right? They have a plant-based option and it's yeah. just exciting to see that. That's and, right. Yeah. Um, my next question is, what results have you been seeing uh, you know, after the program, during the program? How do you feel physically, mentally? Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, it's, it's, it's night and day. I mean, um, you know, uh, just physically, you feel better. I, I, I probably dropped about 15 pounds when I was on with you. I probably dropped about 15 pounds. I've probably dropped another five since then. So I dropped some weight, um, but just, you know, th the alertness um, is way better. There's not, I don't have that fog, um, you know, that, that was there before. It just was, I wish it wasn't, but it was. Um, and my energy levels are much higher when I work out now. It's like, I can do this. This is going to be fun. Um, whereas before I just wanted to stay in my big easy chair. Um, but the, the other big uh, measurable result besides the 15 to 20 pounds I've lost so far is my A1C. Before I began the plant-based uh, eating plan, uh, my A1C was at 6.7. Um, four months after, and I probably could have taken it after three months and I would have been fine, but I didn't have an appointment until four months. So I took it at that time and my A1C had dropped to 5.9. So, you know, I, and I'm, uh, my goal is to continue to get that A1C down, but I'm in a, I'm in a good place right now versus, you know, continuing to scale up. I'm, I'm scaling down. Amazing. which is good. I love yeah. that. I love that. I believe in no time you'll be out of even the pre-diabetic range too. Yep. I'm super, yep. super proud of you. I was so excited when I saw that A1C number. Um, what, would you like to speak a little bit? Because a lot of times I know people always think that you they're scared to transition to plant-based because they feel like they have to do it a hundred percent. But I yeah. know you definitely worked your system, right? You were including yeah. flexible eating in there. Um, you were able to travel. I know you mentioned that. Um, yeah. How was your experience in, in including flexible meal and still, you know, seeing results? How would you? Um, so I, you know, um, when, when I, did introduce some flexibility into my plan. I tried to limit portions um, and that did help. Um, you know, and, and it, it, you and I talked about this a lot. It's not about perfection, it's not, but it is about progress. And you will make the best progress if you stay on the plan. Um, and eat the way we learn to eat on this program. So, um, but, but it doesn't mean that 
because you modify a little bit, uh, get a little off the rails, <laughs> like like I was prone to do, uh, mm -hmm. that you can't get back on because you can. You certainly can, and and it will correct. You will course correct very quickly um, if you just get back on the plan. Amazing, yeah. And I always say too, a lot of people expect that I eat really healthy, but yes, I eat really healthy most of the time. I practice what I preach but it's yeah. not perfect. Um, and I, right. think I love what you said. It's always about progress and not perfection. I think a lot of people yeah. beat themselves up when they feel, you know, they went off, off the wagon. Right. Yeah. Um, but right. all that does is that produces guilt and guilt doesn't do anybody good. Doesn't do me good. Nope. Do you good. Nope. Um, so I That's love right. that mindset. I love that mindset. Yeah. Um, what would you say to someone, this is the last question, but what would you say to someone who's on the verge of thinking about whether I should do pump based to reverse diabetes or thinking about reversing diabetes? Um, so, you know, I, I, I can only tell you from my personal experience that, you know, a plant-based diet works for, for, for doing this. It does work. And, um, you know, I would, uh, talk to folks and they would say, well, you're, you're not getting enough protein. Well, that's not true. I mean, tofu, uh, beans, you know, and some of the grains have great amounts of, of protein. Uh, quinoa is one of them. Uh, is that right? Did I say that right? Quinoa. <laughs> I, always, I always wonder how to say it. That's perfect. But, um, uh, so it's, it's, you know, you, you get the protein you need. Um, and, you know, even working out, I mean, I, I gained muscle um, and, and lost fat. So, um, and I wish I had those exact results here right now, but uh, there's a graph at the club that I work out at and they kind of show you your progress. And I, I did, I gained muscle and I lost that. So, um, it's totally doable. It's the way to do it. I, I would just tell you, you know, gosh, don't, don't delay any further. It is, it is worth the investment. You will learn how to eat for a lifetime on a 90 day program with Charmaine and, 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 and her associates. I mean, it's, it's just a great way to live life. Oh, period. Thank you. I love yeah. that. That's amazing. And it's cool to see that, you know, you're able to build muscles too. I think a lot of times people feel like, okay, well, where are you going to get your protein? Um, but then, you know, where do cows get their protein, right? Where do these yeah. athletes get yeah. their protein? So I, I love yeah. that. Love that question. Yeah. Love that you mentioned that. And that's great. That's great that you're yeah. able to rebuild muscles. And, you know, a lot of times when you're a plant-based diet, uh, your recovery rate actually increases. Um, yep. Compared yep. to, to uh, non and lifestyle. and you sleep better. You mm -hmm. definitely sleep better. I I can attest to that for sure. I love that. I love that. Amazing. Thank you so much, Kirk. I really yeah. appreciate you. Um, yep. I love just your motivation. How I think the biggest thing that I got out of you know, hearing from what you said, I think the biggest thing was that you said your desire to be healthy is bigger than your obstacles and bigger than yeah. your resistance. And I think that's yeah. huge because I think until you get to that point, it's hard to make any changes, right? So I think just working yeah. on that mindset is huge. And I appreciate yeah. you. I'm super proud of you. And I'm excited uh, for you to come to California and dance. Absolutely. I'm, I'm yeah. taking you and your hubby to dinner one of these I one of these that. days so yes. look forward to seeing you guys I love that we would love that um but yeah I'm really proud of you I want to thank you for your time and for everyone that's watching that's Kirk he's amazing uh he's a really busy man but he's still willing to do this interview with us so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you later bye thanks Charmaine Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching the video. I am super excited for Kirk and a lot of good news is coming to his family and it's been such a great pleasure working with him. It's been such a great journey. If you want to work with me and join my reversing diabetes coaching program, then make sure you check out the link below. You can either book a call with us to see what is a great fit for you or you can go check out the website that's linked down below so that you'll be able to see what program 
works for you best. I'm super excited to help all of you reverse your type 2 diabetes. So stay tuned for my next video. I'll see you guys there and have a wonderful day. Thank you.